hey guys welcome back to my channel so i decided that today i'm going to show you guys how i get my high puff ball and this is an updated version because my puff is bleached now and the initial version my puff was black so on a day where it's not a wash day i normally just get my hair tie out brush it up in the direction that i want the puff to be so you will see me brushing up and around this puff until i get it in the spot that i want it to be in so i get just a random ass bottle with water and i spray it up and around my hair a lot of persons use conditioner in their water but i just choose to use just water and i spray that up and around my hair and then of course i go in with whatever i'm gonna use around my hair like my eco styler gel or whatever for this video i'm using the eco styler gel with flax seeds and so far so good i haven't been having any flaking it's not too hard it is really amazing so i put the styling gel around it and i try to hold it in the position i want it in and then of course when i grab it where i want it i brush around it just to get it neat and slick Then, of course, you want to make sure that when you have it in the position that you want it, you kind of grab it there and, of course, try brushing around it again just to get it as neat as you want it. I like when my puff is very neat, at least around it. So when I grab it in the position I want it in, I still go around and like brush it a little bit. And, of course, I add a little bit more eco styling gel just to have it laid nicely. And you guys will see me doing that. Now, these um hair ties are really stretchy and i got these at the beauty supply store the other day i got six for like two dollars which is very good considering that they are like the good quality and you guys can see that they stretch really nicely and as I said, after I secure it, I go in with a little bit more of my styling gel just to get it nice and slick. And you see where I'm brushing it some more, which is what I do to make sure it's nice and delayed. I feel like the most important thing behind a nice, neat puff or bun or whatever is laying it nicely and tying it down with a satin scarf. Satin scarves keeps your hair like in place and whatever. So if you tie it down with a nice satin scarf, that is going to help it to lay nice and flat. And you guys will be able to see that towards the ending of the video where I'm showing what it looks like when I take the scarf off. The music you guys are hearing in the background of this video, the link to the channel that I got the song from is in the description box below. And of course, always make sure that you guys check the description box if you want like more information on a video or whatever. Everything is normally in the description box if it's not mentioned in the video already. But for this particular thing, I wanted to kind of let you guys know, you know, if you're looking for music to use in the background of your videos you can check out the channel it's vlog music no copyright and i made sure to link it in the description box so in case you guys type it in and you can't find it it's right there so it brings you directly to the exact channel so naturally i move on to the ends of my hair that were looking so dry because i like 
brush it out so what i normally do is i want to put something on my ends especially now that the ends of my hair is like bleached i want to put something on it that keeps it moisturized so i wanted to test out the this particular eco styler gel on it too so i put some on the ends of my hair and then i just comb through that with my fine tooth comb and you guys will be able to see where once it gets wet it like starts curling so when i put the eco styler gel on it starts curling up which is how i normally get the ends of my hair to look the way they do or i will use my talia wad but naturally if i put water or anything on it it forms some type of curls what the eco styling gel does is it tightens the curls and makes them more defined Yeah, let me take you back to when I was starting out on the come up. I was grinding till the sun up. My neighbors told me to shut up, but they couldn't see the bigger vision. Got no intuition. Now my taxes more than their tuition. They see how I'm living and my idols becoming my competition today. I remember I was making under minimum wage. It was part of the story, but now I'm turning the page. And I got bars for days, but can't be locked in the cage. I've been underrated, overlooked like a speed limit. They've been trying to slow me down like I got a speed demons i keep hitting in the back of my head i'm not vegan i keep feeding up the shit that they said i've been living out my dreams while they stuck in their bed i've been thinking like a king till the day that i'm dead i remember when they never would have listened to me and now i'm everything that they ever been wishing to be i've been working over time like every day of the week i've been studying in school already got a degree trying to make it to a doctor i've been working on my patience i'm trying to make a living with multiple occupations coming out of the so this is what my hair looks like oh, for some reason i thought it was cold out but it's not so i'm gonna run a few errands go to the bank and some other stuff and then go back to the ranch so i got everything done in a good time so now i'm headed back to find something to eat so i can leave at like 5 30 5 45 not even sure. I didn't really vlog much today because the literal first half of the day was in shambles. It was rainy and gloomy and that just defeated the whole purpose of a nice day of vlogging. But I did get like bits and bobs here and there of the day. But for the most part, I just got like a tiny bit. But um, I'm trying to go get a bus right now today i didn't walk as much as i expected i want to try to take at least five thousand steps per day but um, when i'm looking at how far i walked i actually walked 1.2 miles which isn't bad but um it's not perfect um i'm hoping this walking that i'm doing right now kind of makes up for what i didn't get today because i either didn't go i know i didn't go as far just because i thought it was gonna rain and i did not want it to start raining while i'm on the road because that would be a mess so i didn't go as far people are looking at me crazy so i didn't go as far so that's what made today how it was but um yeah i'm trying to catch a bus right now and I feel like I'm gonna miss one. No, I might not. But um, yeah, it's five, probably five forty at this point, and it's blowing kind of cold. Yeah. 